Hello everybody and welcome to Traveler's Rest. Traveler's Rest is a life sim tavern in running game that came out in early access last month and we're gonna go take our first look today and I'm like super excited because this game looks pretty freaking awesome and I can't wait and it's gonna be great. So this is us um can i not okay interesting uh advanced oh oh i can be blue i guess if i wanted to yeah yeah apparently apparently i can be blue if i wanted to so that doesn't seem quite to be working all right so that is that is very pasty white. Oh my goodness. No, no, we're not quite that. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna do run that character and then we're gonna jump right on in. Please tell me I can do purple eyes, yes. Alright. What about hair? Um, shirt. You can do lots of different colours. But I think I want mm, let's figure out how we can do this. So it starts with that colour. Then I double click this. Oh, there we go. This works. Interesting. Ooh, which color are we going to go for? So you're going to go with like a bluish. Mm. We could go with like a green. But I need to do. Okay. What if I click enter? Does that work? Hey, that works. Cool. Uh, where's our hair? There's our hair. Okay, we got to do the hair first because that's important. So, don't know. Oh, that was X color. No, 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 no. Hair. Is that gonna work? I don't know what I clicked to make it work. Because I like double click areas and then it works, but not all the time. Like, it doesn't work for hair. It doesn't seem to be one to work for my hair. I just want blue hair. Well, apparently I'm not allowed. Ooh, cloak. Ooh. Oh, we don't really have a cloak yet, though. Hmm. Hats. Don't know. We're gonna look very strange. Chest. I don't know what this does. Maybe you can't quite... No, because this worked. Wait, 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 wait. This worked. All right, let's move this over here. Yeah, now it works. Interesting. The color pickers sometimes are a bit interesting. Okay, so we got this working. So I can switch to certain blue colors, but not to the one that I would like right now. Because what I want to go with is not that. Because I would like to go... Wait, so... So I made it work and then I broke it again. And then I made it work again and now I broke it again. Okay, there we go. Okay. Got that one now. So I want to be... Roughly here, I think. Yeah. Nope, not there. There-ish. Where there's green. Because green is important. So now I can I can do that. And then, but then I can't, okay. So I can either <laughs> move, move things. So I can move this now, but I can't move this. Earlier I could move this, but not this. How does this, how does this happen? Okay, wait. Making a character is very important. Also apparently very difficult, but it's also very, very, very important. Okay. Nope. I can't even close out of the window. Nope. I can't. Oh no. Oh right. Okay. We're, just... we're gonna go with something else. We're gonna go with... We're just gonna go with that. Okay. We're just gonna... We can, we can go... I mean we could go with... We could just go with red hair. How about we just go with red hair for now? 
we'll just leave it and we're gonna put a name in we're gonna be fg and we're just gonna jump on in how about that <laughs> how about that <laughs> we spent five minutes trying to make a character maybe we'll do that <laughs> that's probably enough right Welcome to Traveler's Rest. This game is currently in early access, which means it'll still be developed based on your feedback. If you enjoy your time, please consider leaving a review to support the solo dev project. Thank you. Press space to continue. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. Oh, that's the same thing. All right, cool. Tutorial. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, please do not disable the tutorial. Okay, click that. All right, this is me. This is my inventory. It's apparently easy to eat. Use WAC to move. Shift to run. Press B or click the build mo uh, mode button to enter exit build mode. Press space to continue. Wee! Wow, I have... I look I have like the most amazing double chin ever when I walk sideways. And then B for build menu. While in build mode, you can place items. Right click to select. Try selecting the table. Oh, press space to continue. I... I Okay, right click to select. Left click to place the item. Place and pick up. Oh, customers need a place to sit. Place the benches so they face the table. Okay, first we. Okay, R rotates the item. Right click to add the item to your inventory. Okay, so R. There we go. And then right click, R. Right click. Customers will also expect the table to be well lit in the evenings. So try placing a candle on the table. Oh, Ooh, and I can I can just place it wherever I want to. That's kind of neat. Exit build mode. Right click the book and the bar to open your stock. Exit build mode. Right click the on the book on the bar. Oh, this one. To open your stock. Too far away. Okay. Got to be closer, apparently. Ah, store, storing, storing my food. <laughs> storing uh, food here will be will add it to your bar's stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. Oh, tasty gruel, yummy, yummy. Gruel only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. Okay. Hmm. Bar inventory. Got it. So, escape. Yep. Press O or click the close sign to open your tavern and serve some gruel. Remember to exit build mode. All right, closed. Open. You have a quest. Click the question mark on the left hand side of the screen to view it. First customers. Serve a six customer. We get a reward. We get a table, two benches, and uh, some XP and a candle. Your first customer has arrived. Provide good service and a well kept tavern to earn reputation. Hello. Good sir, I've got gruel and gruel and gruel. A customer has requested an item. Click on the customer to serve them. Oh, it must be behind the bar. I actually have to be behind the bar. Serve. Ah, thank goodness for whatever. I didn't even see that. There you go. Enjoy your gruel. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Ooh, I like your cape. Mmm. Yummy more all all grew for everybody. Very well kept. Yeah, my, my tavern is amazing. Mm-hmm. And we have the finest gruel in town. Ooh. There's a lot of you. Quest complete. Except. Close up the tavern so you can place your new items. Call last orders by pressing I or clicking the open sign. This will prevent new customers from entering your tavern. Oh, last call. Ding ding, last call. Pressing O or clicking the sign will again will force your tavern to close, but you will lose reputation. Instead, wait for your customers to leave. So funny, I just look like I'm wearing a sweater. All of these are like, you know, a proper proper like fantasy medievalish garb, and I just look like I'm wearing a sweater and jeans. It's really funny. I love it. A table has become dirty. Left click and hold on the table to clean it. Left click and hold. Oh, I have to wait probably until they're gone. The red table using a new items. It's a build mode and left click. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Aha! I've cleaned the table. I have cleaned the table. Perfect. All right. Another table. Nope, wrong button. So we'll do a table here. 
benches. And then open your tavern, stuff new customers. Yep. I'm not there yet, game. There you go. Get that. We have a spade, a sickle, and a mop. And a log. Uh, serve 10 bowls of gruel. You unlock the crafting room found, in, found on the north side of the tavern. What do I have to do for it? Oh no, built mode active. Press B to exit. Press B to exit. Okay. So we're opening the tavern again. Last course, we're at 8 and we're open again at 9. Come on in. Only the finest gruel here at FG's in for the weary adventurer. <laughs> Gruel, gruel, and gruel is the only thing we eat. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Am I supposed to take my shoes off? Nah. Not yet. It's fine. All good. Damn, you look properly. Adventury, you do too. I look super boring in comparison. Oops, sorry. Uh, one of your customers has dirtied the floor. Press 2 or click the tavern vision button to highlight the dirt. Press 2. 2. Nope, that didn't work. Tavern vision. Tavern vision will highlight important objects such as dirty tables, floor dirt, and important customers. Click the floor by selecting the mop and left clicking. Mop and clean. Wait, 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 clean. Okay. Up, up, go, 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 go. We have so many customers. Serve, serve, serve. Quest completed. I get porridge and grog. You can now serve porridge and grog. Right click on the book and add the porridge to your stock uh, inventory. Uh, right click on the book. Porridge, inventory. Uh, can I click the beer tap and add the keg of grog to the slot? Beer tap, open. Ah. Oh no, wait, that's a tap. Grog? Oh, I can only do one. Okay, gotcha. There you go, I've got more stuff. Mmm, look at that. Tasty food. So I guess pool. Oh, pool beer. Grog. Watered down booze. These don't do anything, so can I put you in the inventory for now? Hmm, bit of a mess in here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, we just smack it with our mop. I love it. This is definitely how we should... How I clean as well. I just smack it with a mop once, and then that cleans my entire house. A customer has requested a beer. Click and hold in the beer tab to pull a beer. Then click the customer to serve them. Okay, click and hold and then serve them haha -ha! i can do this i could be a tavern keeper bonk is that it that is it okay see there we go all all nice and whoa what minus 61 reputation what oh come on that's unfair Oh, is it the ta- oh, it's the tables, isn't it? Oh, it's the tables. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the tables. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Stop making my tavern so dirty. They're making it so dirty. Oh, no. Uh, all right. You want a grog? Alright, you want that. Okay, how are the tables? Okay, please. No! Minus 90? Come on! Come on, it's really not that bad, I promise. Okay, there you go. I've cleaned your tables, please. No, stop giving me negative. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think this is supposed to happen.
Yeah, I just go and I just go. Bump. <laughs> I love the mopping. It's just punk. That's amazing. No! Stop giving me bad rap! Please, no! Please, no! Comfort. Cleanliness. See, our cleanliness is perfect! Why are you giving me bad rap, yo? It's uncool. Is that just because I'm serving you gruel? Yeah, I think it might be that. Oh god, oh god, it's dirty again. The tables. Oh god, the tables. Everything is dirty. Okay, bonk. Let's clean the table. Come on. This is very stressful. Where's the nearest cobbler? Where is the nearest cobbler? I need him too. Is that dirt? Oh my word. What are you doing? You're getting my tavern so dirty. Okay, I'll just I'll just go left and right between the tables now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this place is cleaner than a freaking palace, honestly. Working hard for it. You're making it not that easy. Quest completed. All doormat helps keep your tavern floor clean. <gasps> yes. Uh, you can now unlock your crafting room. When you're ready, close up and head to the northern side of the tavern. Awesome. No oh, crap. All right, we probably should uh do a last call. We'll wait for them to leave. Okay, and then we'll go and put the doormat down and go to see the crafting place. Uh the crafting room place. Thank you, Mojibo. Yes, please do give me some reputation, please, 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 please don't hate me. Thank you. Oh my god. That was so stressful. This is supposed to be relaxing, isn't it? Okay, good. All right, let's go into build mode first and foremost and place this. Does it go here? Or do I have to be closer? There we go. Some items will increase your tavern's comfort level. Multiple of the same item will diminish this effect. A greater comfort level will keep your customers happy. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Clean. Perfect. It's not. It's not. Oh. There is a little bit of dirt here, isn't there? Yeah. Bonk. <laughs> oh, I love the whole mopping thing. It's great. Okay. Let's unlock the crafting room. Oh, my. Unlock the crafting room. Yes, please. All right. Oh, this is my bed. I see. This is your crafting room. First, let's make some porridge. Right-click on the oven to open up its crafting menu. Each crafter has a, a list of recipes. These share the required ingredients, fuel, and time. Click the recipe name to begin crafting. Porridge. Some recipes require fuel. Click the log on the right side of the crafting menu. This will remove a log from your inventory and add five of fuel to the crafter. Ding. Porridge. Some recipes can be modified. This allows extra ingredients to be added. Some recipes have mandatory modifiers. Hover over the exclamation mark to view these. Porridge requires grain. Try dragging the barley from your inventory into the one of the slots. This will create a barley porridge. Bonk. Okay. Got it. Um, okay. So, craft. Each recipe takes some time to craft. Once the timer is full, click the craft to collect the item. Wait for your porridge to cook. It will only take a few seconds. What's this? Nothing. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. For a second, I was like, hey, the timer isn't moving, but it's just going in bigger increments. It's not like moving in real time. And I was like, hey. All right, collect. Oh. Well, I left like it. Awesome. Craft and porridge rewards a malt house. Now let's brew some beer. Place the malt house from your inventory and try crafting malted barley. Remember to enter build mode. Thank you for reminding me. All right. Malt house. Pressed. Build it. Open. Malt barley. You need fuel too. Uh, we need one barley and one bucket of water. Malting takes a while. Right click the crafter to view how long the current recipe will take. You can reopen your tavern and serve porridge while you wait. Two, three hours, okay. 
three in-game hours. Should I make more porridge? Should I make more porridge? I feel like I should make more porridge. Yeah, let's make more porridge. Let's also check out our bedroom real quick. I want to have a look-see at my bedroom. And see what's going on over here. This is your bedroom. Sleep in your bed to save the game. If you want to stay up too late, you will pass out. Oh. I can make my bed. No, no, no. I don't want to sleep. You can make your bed. That's so funny. I never make my bed, by the way. Oh, I have logs in there. Okay, cool. Awesome. More logs. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah. Shift was run, wasn't it? Moving slightly faster. Ding! Collection. What is this? It hasn't explained what these are. Uh, what's this? Tech. XP. Calendar. Inventory. Okay. Open the tavern. Um, can I right click it? I can. Awesome. Is it two? Oh, it is two. Tavern vision is two indeed. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Don't mind me. Just cleaning the table. Do I need to clean this too? No, I don't. Okay. It's weird. Like, the tavern vision thing worked earlier with pressing 2, and then it didn't. And then... Yeah. I'll just use the menu. So, five mugs of grog. Paper coasters. Helps keep tables clean. Oh. But how do I do that? Like, do I just place them? Oh, I just dropped them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I picked them back up. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, no. What am I doing? All right, there we go. Served and served. Just giving the tables a quick brush. Because uh, we need that. And then we're just gonna... I don't know how long I can stay up. Because it says don't stay up too long. Your tavern has become cold. Use the fireplace to keep your tavern at the perfect temperature. Oh. Uh, fuel. 18? Probably not 18. On. Okay, it's warm now. Good. Warm seems good. Surf. Oh god, they all want grog. Surf. Pull. Surf. Pull. Surf. Oh my god, you're all getting drunk. Oh god, are they gonna puke? Will they puke? They will puke, won't they? They will puke. I have a feeling they will puke. There we go. All perfectly clean. It's warm. Very well kept. I agree. Bestest in ever. I don't know how long I can stay up. Um, before I fall asleep. I mean, it's only eight. So I assume I'm still good. But I don't know. Let's go clean that. Because I'm actually not sure. Because it doesn't tell you. It just says, don't stay up too long. But what is too long? Midnight? 10pm? 2am? 6 o'clock in the morning? It doesn't say me. It doesn't tell me. Okay, it's still perfect. We're doing alright. It's 8.30. We've made quite a lot of money. Oh, we're still doing the moth quest, aren't we? Okay. Is it time for last call? Maybe. Probably time for last call. Let's get last call going. And then we'll just quickly disappear back here. Collect the malt stuff. Craft some malted barley. Rewards a mash ton, bitter hops, and a bucket of water. Create wort by boiling grains. Place the mash ton and create some mild wort. She, oh god, you, that, this is big. All right, uh, out of build, mo build mode. Uh, you have received your reputation milestone. Each milestone unlocks new items and mechanics. Do this by clicking the arrow under the reputation bar. Awesome. Fuel? Oh, shoot. I don't have fuel. Shanty. Brewing and cooking tech trees. Press T to open. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. I need to go and get my theme of it first. 
Okay, it's messy right now. I'm gonna turn you off. It's cold right now, but that's fine. I'm gonna clean up. Also, the music suddenly, like, got super loud. Like, super loud. What the heck? Alright, cold perfect. That's fine. I don't mind that. That is fine. We don't have to worry about that. We're gonna open this. We're gonna put in some fuel. Um... I'm gonna put in some more fuel and some more fuel and then we're gonna make some mild warts awesome so you're doing your thing we're gonna make some more malt barley and you're gonna make some more porridge okay so you're doing that stuff so it said something about tech there we go holy moly tech trees are how you learn new recipes each tech costs skill points which can be earned from crafting skill points are split into physical nature and mental the three bars on the bottom left of the screen indicate your progress towards your next skill point ah i see i see press space to continue um all right mild ale talent brew mild ale mild wort, malt barley i assume i have this already right Pale talent, pour a talent, meat, lager. We can learn how to make tea. Oh, tea. Not enough skill points. No. Tavern 2 reputation. Coming soon. I even know how many points I have because I can't actually see it. Uh, Shanty. Hovel farming and carpentry tech teams. Press T to. Oh, oh, okay. I see, I see. Okay, so it's just tea. I get, I, ugh. maybe a food, maybe soup? Not enough skill points. Oh, it's 302, it's, oh, I see it now. One, two, two, one, two, two. Okay, cool. I can't do any of those. Can't do any of those. Interesting. Not enough ingredients. Oh, you refill using the well. Where the heck is the well? Well, 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 where's the well? Is the well outside? Can I go outside? Oh my... Outside your tavern, you'll find a postbox to order... Outside your tavern, you'll find a postbox to order in supplies in a delivery box. A notice board to accept order quests and hire staff. A well to collect water. A farming area to the north. Farming area to the north. Collect water. Okay, that's just clicking it. Perfect. So... I can go here, but I can't do anything there. Oh, I can pick these up. Oh, there's like... Lo oh, is are these just logs? And I can... I can... Ooh. These are just logs that I can pick up. Oh, I love it. So I guess my farming area is just up that way. Oh, it's getting late. Call last orders to give your customers a chance to finish their drinks before closing up. Okay, last call. They tell me at midnight. Okay, that's good then. Oh, yeah, I can't run right now. Like, I'm just walking slowly. I can't actually run. This is still really busy, though, for midnight. Oh, my word. Okay, we'll go out there. Uh, after we've slept. Yeah, because I can't run anymore. Okay. So we'll go inside. And grab our stuff because apparently you don't want to save when you're making something well i guess we'll have to because <laughs> that's going to take a while we're going to go save we're going to sleep we're going to save and yes i would like to sleep i'm going to say sleep till morning and on that note select a save to overwrite or create a new one please keep multiple saves during early access to avoid losing progress uh, we will make a new save. Did I? Did I actually make a save just now? I'm not sure if we just made a save. Um, anyhow, we'll figure that out next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you like the new series. Thank you so much for being here and watching. See you next time. Take care and bye-bye.